Mum was joking, I'm making an update. I was like, so guys, I'm gonna update you. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, we're not adding that part. Start again. Come on, you ass. <laughs> oh, stop it. Okay, start again. We are just back. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Get out, Louise. Get out. We are back from a cup of tea. Um, <laughs> How hard is it to do that? How hard is this? Okay, start again. You're back from tea, everybody. <laughs> Mum is making big noises. I'm asleep. Oh, she's falling asleep. She's snoring. Right, start again. We're back from tea. We uh, are halfway through these yos. Not quite halfway. Less than halfway through these yours. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Delighted to have you back here. Um, can I just say thanks everyone who watched my previous video about my record. Really appreciate all the comments and um, the lovely words. So I'm back again. Um, today we are sharing some ram lambs of ours, mountain ram lambs. We share them every year. We think they do a great thrive after shearing. And also we don't have to worry about things like maggots and um, dirty bums when they go to fresh grass. They're just a lot cleaner and tidier. So we're going to shear the ram lambs and um, we have a lot done already if you're watching my instagram you would have seen that and um, but we're going to do a few more today we're also going to do some low uh, mountain yos that we had on the lowland for the summer and um, they have got um click on them so they haven't been able to get maggots for the last while but it's definitely time to get them shorn and back to the mountain so they're going to be weaned off their lambs today dad has gone to uh, collect them in the trailer and bring the yos back uh, but i'm going to be shearing them today so We've got those two jobs. A few other people are coming to the shed with their sheep as well. So plenty to be at today. So I'll take you guys along. Here are the ram lambs for shearing. A bit of paint on your nose, buddy. These are all to be shorn to prevent maggots and also to clean them up and stop them getting dirty tails. It's a bit of dirt on that fella there. So these are coming straight off the mountain like the other ones and they're going to after grass. So this guy here is going in the front head gate. This is to encourage the others to follow him up. So they all will follow the sheep in the front. And makes it a lot more hassle free and stress free for everyone else. He'll only be there for about an hour.
Meet our friends. Just finished the ram lamps. So here is today's batch. These guys, they all need to be painted now and dosed. This is what we are dosing the sheep with. It's a worm drench. And it also contains cobalt as well. That's Shanaverm Plus, I should say. Shanaverm Plus by Chanel. So just gonna walk them down here, check for any lame sheep. Job two, painting. Right, so we're gonna paint them here with orange paint. Orange with orange mark. Orange. Let's get started. Right, so here's the yos. The yos are so much easier to work with than lambs. So these girls have just been weaned off their lambs. They all had pairs of Shevet lambs. They were off the mountain for the summer. They're going back to the mountain now. well trained sheep there
I am finished shearing. I'm going to go through all the sheep. I'm going to check their udders to see they're perfectly sound for breeding for another year. Um, I have a few with a green tag, which we tagged back in spring. Um, most of the green tags mean they had a lamb bed out. So we have them tagged to make sure we don't miss them. Uh, here's one. So as you can see, she's got a green tag in her ear. That means she put out her lamb bed in the springtime. Um, basically, not her lamb bed, but she prolapsed, so she, her lamb bed appeared. Um, so that means that she is not suitable for breeding anymore, and she will be sold as a colio. I'm going to check everyone's udder here. So just making sure their udders are perfectly fine. They've just been weaned off the lamb, so they've good bags of milk. All three of them are perfectly sound in the other. So I just have to check everyone else. I'm going to check their mouths. Um, if there's any sheep with loose teeth or teeth missing, then they're quite old sheep. That's time to uh, move them on. <laughs> they're not suitable for the mountain anymore. So they'll be sold as well. They're good and secure. They're not loose or anything. So she's perfectly sound. This yo is missing a tooth, as you can see, and her teeth are quite spaced out and long, so she's definitely an old girl, so it's time to move her, sell her on. Super. Good night, girls. I'll see you in the morning. Right, so finished, finally. Um, I'm sweating after that. Dosing them yos is no simple task, especially when they have horns. They try and run through you. And when they go for it, you just gotta get out of the way because with them horns, they'll just break your leg, really. <laughs> them yos are going back to the mountain tomorrow. Them ram lambs are gone out to aftergrass now. So yeah, lots of organizing done today. I actually realized them. Um, the pets have had a little haircut since you've seen them last. That's June. I shore them all just to clean them up. Some of them had a few dirty bums. And also stop any maggots. And the old lambs will be keeping for a bit longer. The Dorset lambs I'm definitely keeping, but I figured um, just tidy them up. They look so glass. I love it. They look so grown up. June. Little lady. So that's my little pet lamb, June, who's still getting a bottle. Peck, my dorset lamb, um, what's her name, Dolly, sorry. Here's Daisy, she's very wrinkly. My other dorset, hello miss. Uh, Millie is in there somewhere. 